my name is Tyler from Club Card. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a print ready file for natural craft business cards using Spot White Ink. Uh, the first thing you want to do is get your artboard set up all properly um, with your bleed and critical lines. Um, I've got the file set up already. You can see I got my critical lines here in blue, my um, cut line, the trim line is in black, and the bleed line is in red. Um, so you want all your important objects to be inside those lines there. Um, if you need help getting that card set up, uh, the template set up, you can watch our other tutorial video, How to Set Up a Business Card for Print Using Adobe Illustrator, and that will give you some tips. Um, so now we're all ready to go. The first thing we want to do is actually set up the design. So you can do whatever design you want for your cards. Um, I have something created already, so I'm just going to drop that in. And there you go. So you can see we've got all important stuff is inside these blue critical lines and then anything that bleeds off to the edge of the card extends out to the bleed lines. So the really unique part about these cards is the ability to print using white ink. Um, because we're not printing on a white stock for these cards, um, the color of the paper is going to affect how the inks appear. Uh, if you think about it, when you're printing on white paper, anything that appears white in the design in the file um, remains white because that's the color of the stock. Um, but in this case, the color of the stock is a brownish color. So anything that appears white is going to be that paper stock coming through. So all this area here is basically going to be the brown color. If you look at this card here, you can see we've got the um, the brown coming through. And then the colors here, especially under, under Carl's shape here, you can see the, the paper fibers and the color of the stock really showing through. Um, but what you can do with these cards is put a white backup. Um, you can see here we've put white just in these letters here. It makes it really pop. Um, but if you want the colors to pop, you can actually put white in behind this whole shape first. So you put, uh, the, in printing, the white layer would go down first, and then over top you'd put the color. It could look something like this. Um, you can see the colors are much more vibrant, especially in here. Um, the burgundy is popping a lot more as well. So we're going to set that up. Um, and, well, let's just look at this. This You can see the comparison between the two. On this one, you can see the colors are a little bit more muted. And you can show through. Um, but on here, you've got that white layer down first, so it's much more vibrant. Um, so let's look at how we can set that up ourselves. So on this design, we want this here to be white, this Carl shape here, as well as these letters uh, in part of the club card logo. And we want this color to pop here. So we're going to put it right under there. Um, so we need to create a shape to indicate where the white is going to go. We're also going to need to create a custom color, a color swatch, so that we can indicate what is going to be white. Um, so let's do that first here. So to do that, we're going to go up to our color palette here, and we're going to click on Create a New Swatch. And then here we're going to name it. So we're going to name this swatch Spot White. And this is a spot color, so we're going to change that to spot color. And then down here in CMYK, it, we, it's going to be white, but so that we can tell the difference between our background color and the actual spot, um, spot layer, we're just going to add 10% cyan here, just so that we can tell the difference. Um, so once we've got that, I uh, can just hit OK, and that's going to create the custom swatch and add it to our, our color palette right there. Now we want to indicate which areas should print with the white ink. So you're going to take whatever color, whatever objects you want, and uh, turn them using that spot color. Um, I've already got the object drawn here, so I'm just going to drop that in. Um, so you can see here I've got that selected, so um, it's going to be, I'm going to send it to the back so you can see, we're going to in, uh, include Carl here, the shape of Carl, and then all this area underneath here. So let's bring that back to the front. So to set that to spot white, we're going to go up to our color palette here and click on that ink. And that is going to um, change that to our palette. And you can see because it's got a little bit of cyan in it that it is, um, um, you can tell the difference between the background and the actual spot color. Uh, so the last thing we want to do is set this to overprint. So you're going to go open your attributes window here. If you don't have it open, it's under window, attributes, and just click this overprint fill button right there. So once we got that, uh, you can see we've got the file all set up perfectly, and now we're ready to save it. Um, so we're going to go up here to save, file save as, 
going to save this as a PDF. Make sure it's PDF. Go save. I'm just going to check to make sure these are all good. And it is. Just save as. So now here we can see uh, we've got our artwork and we've got the spot layer. Just to make sure it's all set properly, I'm going to go up here to output preview. Uh, so you go advanced, print production, and then output preview. And this is going to show you here what it's going to look like. Um, so if you remove the spot plates, you can see we've got all our, sorry, remove the process plates. Uh, you can see we've got just the spot layer. And then over top, you've got the CMYK layer. So I hope that's been helpful, learning how to set up a business card with Spot White Ink. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us through the instant chat on our website, or uh, check out Club Card TV for more tutorial videos on how to set up your files for printing. Thanks for watching.